What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Cat and Mike show. And today we have POV Master and Donnie from Content Candy TV. Guys, these are the two, two of my favorite porn stars and OnlyFan creators, okay? Um, guys, welcome. Hello. Thanks for having us, guys. Thank you, guys. All right. So first questions first. Oh, straight into what it. Is I like it. The trippiness in the background. What is going on there? Uh, this is a trippy house in Las Vegas. Um, Lydia Grace owns a house. This is like her little content house, and she rents it out to content creators. And uh, what are you doing, Simon? Uh, <laughs> so, the, the lights. Simon's going to go Yeah, Simon's going to yeah turn the light on. Oh, he's putting the sign on. Yeah, there's a little. So when I was in, um, I was oh, just in okay, Vegas okay, uh, a couple months ago, and um, yeah, I visited the trippy house in Vegas, and uh, it is it is very. Cool. Oh, you were here. So, like, <laughs> you stayed here? I, didn't Yo, I heard she didn't leave. I'm surprised, I'm surprised she's here. I she went missing. By the way, yeah. we we went to Vegas <laughs> together. Okay, <laughs> this was meant to be a cat and mark trip. Well, like let's spend some quality time. I didn't see it for like a week. Where where did you go? You, where did, you excuse me? Didn't you all get married or something oh, at the chapel? Was, <laughs> <laughs> we got married. I uh, I <laughs> left. I came back. But where were you? Because I didn't hear for you for a few days. <laughs> you left by this time. Don't avoid the question. <laughs> Where were you? Tell I us. Tell us. Ah, okay. All right. She, she uh, may or may not have been in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What did, what did you say about me? Well, in his bedroom. <laughs> All right. So you guys had some uh, some fun. You shot some content. We did actually, yeah, we did, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I heard it. And I have shot content um, here in uh, in the Gold Coast actually, um, a while back. But yeah, Johnny and I shot content when I was in Vegas. So um, yeah, everybody listening, you can see my videos with uh, both of these two. <laughs> <laughs> We're advertising that just straight off the bat. <laughs> yeah, usually that comes at the end. You're you jumping right into it. It's like Black Friday oh, discounts you on, you on guys the pages. Brought it up, <laughs> All right, guys. How was it shooting with Kat? It was all right. Because, uh, okay, <laughs> give, give, I'll give some context. They both went quiet. I'll give some context, okay? I shoot with Kat a podcast every single week, as you guys know. Yeah. Um, and when I get here, I spend 20, 30 minutes getting yelled at, okay? <laughs> Wait, the light's the wrong way. We need this. We can't have that up. Put this camera here. She's Mark, it's pretty much slider. the same. It's pretty much the same when you're shooting content. <laughs> 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 I resent that. No, I'm not. I'm <laughs> such a treat. This is she was that. actually this pretty good, good when I filmed with her on, on the Gold Coast. She was scared. Was she was scared, but she was good. She was scared. Was she was scared? like very anxious. Oh, well, okay. that's so, um, so PV Master and I did my first MMF on the Gold Coast. Did uh, we? It was scary. It was yeah, my first yeah, one. So did. it was um, PV Master and um, Axel Rydom. Um, that was my first MMF, which was very exciting. Okay. Uh, yeah, but obviously that was scary. It was my first one ever in my life. In your life? Yeah. Like even even in your personal life? Like Yeah, yeah. I'd never had oh, one ever. in my okay. personal life. Yeah, She'd yeah. been planning this for like six, six months. months. <laughs> like I, I heard about this like Mark and the right people. Yeah. So uh Paul Master, it's you you've done something right. I'm telling you that much. Yes. She, she was six months search. All right. Six she months found search. It, so, all right. Um, I was I, I know, I was like, it nervous. has to be the right two guys <laughs> that I'm like friends with that I've met. Um yeah, it was scary. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, okay, thank you. Um PV Master. I was very pleasant. I was a treat. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Donnie, I was a treat when we were filming too. Amazing. I was nervous, ten ten out of ten. Feeling. You no, you were yeah you were yeah. nervous actually yeah we pretty much left we we left a lot of that yeah I had I had to do a heavy you, editing it's me being so cute and <laughs> so cute. okay all right <laughs> an absolute treat okay after the thirty minutes of yelling at people though that comes first and then it's cute and a treat is that, <laughs> you get the yelling. you're my husband that's why you get the yelling okay no, I'm sorry I'm sorry please don't over you okay I'm so sorry. Uh, that's fun. And so, uh, yeah, what's the idea with the house? So you, you live there and you basically shoot content out of there as well? Yeah, yeah. So I live here and then I run it for for Lydia, uh, Lydia Grace. She's like a big TikToker and uh, she does OnlyFans and all that stuff. So I run it for her. People come here from pretty much all over the world to rent rooms and make Australia. content here. Yeah, Australia, yeah. Canada, yeah. everywhere. Um, but yeah, they rent rooms here. It's kind of like, you know, uh, an alternative to a hotel 
and the whole house is, you know, content friendly. They can have collaborations over and you're not kind of stuck to one little room in a hotel. You know what I mean? With the same cool. aesthetic. So can people so. pay to actually stay there? Yeah. It's like a, it's like a hotel, but then they can use this. There's a glory hole room upstairs. Damn. Yeah. And it's pretty interesting. In a, it's called Troopy House. By the way, for those that aren't watching this, there's some LEDs going in the background. There's a neon sight saying Trippy House. You can even, yeah, perfect. Thank you guys for moving <laughs> out of the way for me. Cool. You would like the house. Like the walls are like fluffy. Dude, and there's stop a little it. mushroom. Like, so where the little, um, I don't know. If oh, yeah, the mushroom. But where the, just stop behind it. Donnie's microphone is like a mushroom. Oh, okay. <laughs> so how many mushrooms are consumed in the Trippy House? Because that'd be the best place for me as a guy that loves psychedelics. This, I, 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 I want to rent a room just to trip. Is there any tripping that goes on in the Trippy House? No. No. Damn. Okay. That's, Sorry, that's guys. Mark, guys. Mark, we would allow Mark to trip here. That's Perfect. All right. We're on there. We're on there. I'm going to rent a room just to trip. Okay. There's people doing content and shit. I'm just going to be <laughs> mushrooms. Like, like, yeah. yeah. He'll just be rubbing just the wall all night. Mushroom, yeah. <laughs> uh, where can people see? Because um, I, I was on Instagram. Was it Content Candy TV? Was that the Instagram that I saw? Um, that yeah, that's mine. But trip, trippy houses, it's it's trippy houses on Instagram. Okay, trippy houses. Yeah. Right. So those that are wondering, you can go check that out as well. It's it's pretty fucking cool. Um, so guys, uh, I guess like we'll start off with. Do you want to let me know how you both got into content creation? So maybe Povmaster, we'll start out with you. Uh, how All did right. you become a porn star slash? Um, okay, so I think uh, how I start was I was. Um, going out with this girl that she was doing content she was a content creator and um i was not but then after a couple of weeks she was just like you should really use your tool for something else and you should open a page as well and i was just like do you think so and she said yes and she started to introduce me with uh to her friends and um start filming so basically i was just being uh let's say a stunt and uh I decided to open my my own and and let me here just we say, are. Popmaster does have a very nice cock for porn. Has a good tool. Yeah, yeah, he does. He does. Okay, <laughs> so basically, <laughs> basically, you're fucking a girl, and she's like, "Damn, yo, you should come and fuck all my friends." <laughs> That's a dream, right? And then I was just like, "Are you sure?" And she was just like, "Yeah." I was just like, "Okay, <laughs> I, I guess I gotta do that." Okay. Do you still talk to her? <laughs> no. No. Nah. Oh. Nah. That was a that was a yeah, quick wow. note. Yeah, that was, that was like, nah, is there a nah, story? Nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Can we hear the story? No, nah, the story is uh it's a secret story. <laughs> oh, <laughs> secret. Okay. Will you tell me story. later? All right, we'll I, I can tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that off He's going to tell me later. Yeah. <laughs> it's off um, air. And so basically then you were you were helping out like with creation with these goals and then you started your own. Uh, yeah, and then at the beginning I started to do solo stuff. And then I tried to put the words out if anyone wants to collab and here we are. Here I am in Vegas, passing by. Next stop is Europe. Damn, world tour. How, how much longer are you in uh, Vegas for? i uh, probably going to leave in 10 days or something. Okay. Oh, shit. Then I'm going to hit London. I've been here two months, so I'm going to hit probably London for a couple of weeks and then going home for Christmas in Italy. Nice How exciting. Man. Yeah. Johnny, what about you? Tell us about your journey into porn. Um, <clears throat> so I used to live in another content house. Um, and I used to shoot kind of like behind the scenes stuff, funny stuff. And it just kind of led into the porn stuff. What do you mean by behind the scenes funny stuff? All right. So, so like the, <laughs> the, the plot. This, this is, I yeah, know. I'm, well, I like I'm to be very. To all right. up, I like to be vague <laughs> about where. I used to work because okay, I don't have to tell us where, but like, okay. what did you do? <laughs> was Essentially, it was like OnlyFans, except it was for like a uh, on a Snapchat platform. So it was it was the same gist, but it was on Snapchat. I did everything through Snapchat. So there'd be like parties going on at the house, or you know, cont- like people. I, I would do like behind the scenes of photo shoots and all this stuff. And then I started doing the photo shoots, and then I started doing like funny. Like the first thing I ever shot was. This girl was bent over like on the bathroom floor <laughs> and <clears throat> I made <laughs> such a weird story. <laughs> I got two gummy bears, right? And I made this like collage of a forest on her lower back. Okay. Yeah. And I panned the camera really, uh, really close in. And I wish I could, there's, it's gotta be buried on my hard drive somewhere. 
So there was a story about uh, these gummy bears talking to each other. And it was a whole like story I'd written. And then the bear goes to hibernate at the end of it and goes in our asshole. But I had like a, I had like a collage of like gummy bear and it goes. Yeah. And I made a forest on her lower back. So it looked like. (laughs) That doesn't sound safe. (laughs) (laughs) So like I would just do weird stuff like that. And it kind of snowballed into, you know. My other How stuff. did you get now this? I idea? I'm just imagining like this screenplay written. Okay, about- well, actually, Donnie does still do things like that now. Because when I was at the Trippy House, there we did a few X-rated games. Yeah, now we do. Now I do um, butt plug games. Which <laughs> yeah, I, we, I have some right here. Yeah, we did do that. Uh, funny the, um, games. Yeah. Do you want to? Do you have the little tremor machine? So, so Johnny, um, when I was there, we did like a little Halloween Jeopardy special, and it was me and another girl, and we were sitting on these like vibrating dildo machines. Mm-hmm. And they were like asking, like Donnie and Pop Master were like asking us questions, and we had to try and answer them with like these vibrating things like going off inside of us. Yeah, yeah, it was like, yeah, it's like adult Jeopardy. <laughs> they, yeah, that's, that, that's one thing I well, do. You're and then I railed. With the dildo. <laughs> yeah, while you get railed with a dildo, and then I have these like weird butt plug games. So this is a fishing one, and the rods connected this, uh, to a butt plug. Back. Me to my childhood. Yeah. Minus the yeah. Up one. So this goes. <laughs> yeah, you had a, I was so about to say, you have a messed up childhood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My uncle played this game. No, I'm kidding. Um, so basically, for those listening, there's a butt plug this, this is attached so, to a little so fishing good. rod. Oh, what is this? This is oh, a beer pong that? cup. So we'll play beer no. pong. So wait, do, does <laughs> the beer amazing. go? Wait, I'm so I'm I'm so confused. So I, oh okay, so a girl's there. With like with the butt plug with the cup in it, and then you, you gotta, yeah, you the, the, the butt? yeah, yeah. So yeah, you can play beer pong basically with this. This is actually like things, this. Things, or are these games? Th- are these games that like are just for sale, or have yeah, you made these so, apparatuses yourself? I've made one. It's uh, in the corner over there. I could show you that one. I've only made one, but I actually buy this through a company. Uh, it's Glow fuckyourself.com or glow f yourself.com and he's made he makes these and sells these online and he goes viral like probably like two or three times a year as you could tell because all his shit's super weird but um yeah that's where i get most of my butt plugs from and, and then i'll make some myself i'll go to target and go through like the odd like the game aisles and be like oh this would be funny on a butt plug and then i'll make it have you ever <laughs> used any perfect. yourself do you use any of these butt plugs on yourself? I have not. <laughs> oh. Why not? Sorry. I know. Disappointing. I know. A lack of, yeah, oh God. No, I'm disappointed in that. <laughs> you know what? Kat is, Kat I will when you come pro. back. I'm very Kat. pro guys putting things up their ass. Cat, yeah, when you come back, I'll, I'll 1v1 you in something. All right? Well, when I was in Vegas, <laughs> I kept trying to put my finger in Donnie's ass and it wouldn't let me. No, you didn't. <laughs> Yeah, you said you were like, oh no, I haven't, I haven't like, uh, what did you say? You said oh, you I said, I got to shave my asshole. Yeah, I got a, yeah. I got a bush down there. <laughs> and I was like, just let me yeah. do it. I was laughing. Just let me do it. You're like, no. <laughs> he, he would have, I get like, you know, he said he would have let me apparently, hmm. but like, I don't know. Yeah, I yeah. I would have, I'll, 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 no, I'll, I'll shave my ass, I'll shave my asshole for you when you come back. All right. <laughs> Nice. True love right there. <laughs> when you're willing to shave an asshole, that's <laughs> when you were willing, you're willing to let a girl stick her fingers inside your ass. Jesus. And, uh, you're, you're so um, what's the word for it? You're a bit, you're very pushy for it, aren't you? Big advocate of this. That's why I said I'm going to stick my fingers in your ass. Yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shave my asshole. Please. Um, I'm going to do it on air. So, One of these days, I'm going to bend you over. No, it's never happening. Good luck. <laughs> so with these games, because this is amazing. I love this idea, by the way. Like you, you go down. Fucking! I was about to say like I uh, sent you a free trial to do yeah, no, like, no, Did no. you end up subscribing? No, I, haven't, I haven't had a look at it yet. But <laughs> so what I'm picturing is Donnie walking down like the kids section of I'm trying to think of a supermarket out there, but and then being like, okay, this actually that, we put a butt plug on this. This could be fun. <laughs> that's exactly what ha- what happened last time I went, and <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, last time I made something, that's exactly what. Well, happened. since me, yeah, sometimes Donnie just turns around, is like. I got an idea. <laughs> and it's like, we stop in what we do here and just explain. I was like, okay, I guess we should do that. Bro, this is, this is the greatest porn ever because I'm someone that doesn't actually consume that much porn at all, to be honest. But if you turn it into a game show, I'm there. Like, this is, this is exciting. This is fun. Oh, you're so, going you're gonna to love it. You're going to love it, I'm telling you, <laughs> once you hop on. Uh, Bob Master, have you been a part of these games? 
Have you ever done uh, in a bit of gameplay? I've been like a judge of it, and I did the. Oh, what did I do? You did oh, a I Halloween did. thing too. I when did. You were dressed up as Pennywise. Actually, that. Yeah, that, I was controlling, uh, controlling the, the vibrator. Oh, I did um, the cooking show. Oh, the cooking oh, show. Yeah, oh, I did the cooking that was show. a good show. Yeah, so oh, basically, what's the cooking show? What happened was, so I'm a chef, right, in my personal life, and um, Donnie found another content creator that she is a chef too. So basically, he gave us oh, really? uh, fifty bucks each to go shopping and create whatever we wanted, right? And there was uh, four judges that were naked, and we were cooking naked with um, just an apron on. And uh, they had to judge our dishes on top of the machine that Kat used for the Halloween. And basically, they were eating and we were controlling the machine. Basically, the plate was shaking and they were like doing this. <laughs> and uh, Also, they yeah, were like, eating fun. while... While getting, uh, getting fucked with the there. machine. Yeah. yeah, and they had to judge like, you know... The, the food on presentation, taste, and like a and can master I just say, chef. The machine yeah. is intense. On the highest one, like as somebody who who wrote it, like you guys wouldn't know because you guys are bitches. You haven't put it in your ass yet, but it's it's <laughs> wow <intense>. machine. <laughs> yeah, you guys are so soft. <laughs> I, <laughs> not putting shit in your ass. Yeah, actually, the judges there were like two gu- two guys who were judges and they were using the machine. Oh, there you go. Oh, really? Yeah, and yeah. they were happy to have it on ten. Oh, in their asses. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So the people eating are basically getting pleasure from both ends. They're having your cooking. Exactly. As they're getting like railed in the ass. Yes. That's that's amazing. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Uh, That was good. Yeah, it was a great show. And then I, you know, I edit an intro and and have like scoreboards up on there and stuff. It it took me about like 40 or 50 hours to edit the whole thing front to back. Yeah. That's this is it's like, like a, a legit production. show. It's like, like something you'd watch on TV. Yeah. Porn. Yeah. How long did it go for? Was this like a I like think it was like 25, <laughs> 30 minutes. Thing? <laughs> yeah, the video was like 25, 30 <laughs> minutes. It's uh, like a, yeah, the it's show like during the day we probably spend maybe six hours to do it. Something like that. Yeah, because I went to the store and followed them around the store and while they picked their items, you know, and all that stuff. I think that is one of the best that you've done. That yeah, that's one of my best shows for sure. Damn. That's also awesome. and you enjoy that whole process, like, do you enjoy that fifty hours? Of, um, um, I'm just hearing that and like, it makes me cringe too. I've edited before. This time. <laughs> yeah, I, I enjoy. enjoy that process? I enjoy stuff editing stuff like that. You know what I mean? I enjoy it because I know like the final product's gonna be awesome. If it was like me editing fifty hours for somebody else's thing or something, mm. I would struggle getting through it. But because like you know, I essentially have the creative freedom. You know what I mean? The mm. kind of make it my own thing it the time passes by very fast thankfully yeah i guess it is a little bit like an art form right it is you you have that creative control over it you get you get to have your own spin so yeah i guess it is like an artwork essentially yeah, yeah. so pov master you just recently went face out uh so uh, for yes. everyone that doesn't know what that is so yeah i guess in the porn industry you can i mean be what we call face in which means you don't show your face um and you just recently went face out which means you now show your face when previously you didn't um how's that been are you it's are been you good it? actually yeah i'm enjoying it i get uh, good feedback from um the people that follow me and uh, my fans and stuff are uh, good because uh, you're a good looking bloke so <laughs> I'll, I'll take that. i'm a good looking bloke you are a good looking bloke <laughs> And um, yeah, no, actually, it's been uh, pretty good. It's going good so far. And um, yeah, I finally did it. Like I was like, do I do it? Do I not do it? Do I keep doing POV? But then once you go face out, you can expand so much more on content mm. and stuff. Yeah, you do TikTok stories. Yeah, other you things. Can, do you find that you're getting like, I guess, more traction Heaps now? more. Eeps more yeah, traction. Yeah, because now you, you can really kind of, yeah, I guess. I can actually, you know, because before my page. You can actually talk. <laughs> yeah, but, like, you know. my Before my page was basically the girls and my hand or my, this part of my body. And now I can actually put my face. I can do like normal photos. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty easy. And uh, who's the third person there that's face out with you? Is that your, uh, your puppy? Yeah, this, <laughs> this is the house dog, Norman. My little, my oh, little I, guy. How old is he? He's seen some shit. Trust me. Oh, Oh, yeah. (laughs) 
<laughs> he's, he's does, about- he, does he ever try getting involved? Is he like trying to hump a leg while you guys are shooting? <laughs> no, or? he's actually very good. Actually, he doesn't. Hunt. The only th- the only thing he humps is other dogs, but uh, he's he's pretty good about that. Which I'm actually oh, nice. shocked. He's cute. <laughs> it's traumatized. That's probably why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, yo, these people keep putting shit in their eyes. Yeah. <laughs> when the doorbell ring, he's like, hey, we go another one. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. So, uh, okay, I got to ask, all right? Well, that, every time I say that, cat's like, what are you going to ask, huh? Where are you going with this? Guys, what's Just it like? up on me. No, no, this is, I, I'm being kind. This one's not about you. This is about two young men that their job is to have sex basically on video right what is it like dating okay because if you meet a girl actually like what do you do you're like i'm a porn star what type of reactions it's, do you it's get actually that? it's hard like i'm single and i like it that way because until i find someone that actually understand what we're doing for a job because communication and jealousy and all that stuff need to be on point because it's it's impossible if you don't that's uh, what I feel about working in this industry and having a relationship outside That's with someone that is not in the industry. It's pretty hard to understand what we're doing and it's to understand that it's a job. Like when the job is done, we're going home back to whoever we have to. That's what I think. So do you find it do, – do you – mainly look for people in the industry or have I don't you look for anyone oh you don't look for anybody no do you, I mean if so someone do you think that you can date in this industry if I find someone that is reasonable and open-minded as me why not is this uh we're doing like a are we asking for girls to come in our relationship yeah I was about to say I was about to say <laughs> hey girls uh, hey, if you're hey, looking for an hey, open-minded yeah. young man <laughs> <laughs> I was about um, to get to, yeah. Your resume's to ask exactly. It was going there. I was like, oh, this guy is going to help me. Welcome to the Cat and Mark show. Cat, Cat has told me, we've heard, all right? You've got a piece over there, all right? Your face is out now. Oh, so very much we, so. This is, we, we're going to have to filter through these, okay? High quality entries only, all right? You have to be okay with the porn industry. Yeah. And uh, we're going to send them over to Italy, all right? Yeah. Yes. A nice Italian stud. Yeah. <laughs> Take that. What about you, Johnny? Have you dated much in or out of the industry, I guess? I mean, not not too much. Uh, like Simon said, like communication is really important if, if you're in a relationship. But, um, you know, a lot of people tend to be like insecure and things like that. So it's hard it's hard to find somebody essentially, you know, that that's okay with that. And it's understandable to me. Like I've been on I've been on dates before that only went one date because it's like, "Oh, I couldn't, you know, some people are honest where they're like, I couldn't date somebody that does that," which is fine. You know what I mean? Um, it, you know, it's the people that jump into it and they're like, "Oh, I could date somebody." And then, you know, 3 months later, they're have a, you know, have an issue with everything. So Mm. You two would meet like a lot of girls at work, right? Like, do you do you ever? Is there ever any sparks with like co-stars? I guess. Yeah, it can be. It can happen. But then, uh, as a male in the industry, to do the step, you don't do the step. You don't do the step of the off-camera kissing or stuff like that. You, if happens, happens from a girl, because it's not. How do you say? It's like it's something not right to do if a male does it. If a girl does it, it's fine. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess it's about being you like know, extra like, careful. You need to be extra careful. You right. can't cross yeah. the line in the industry. You can't. Yeah, it's hard as a guy in the industry, I guess, because there are a lot of guys in the industry that are in it for the wrong reasons. Right, yeah. The, be, guess, yeah, exactly. to be as one of those yeah. guys. Yeah, so like you don't want to step on, step the lines that of that collaboration that you did you just finished the work and then something happened afterwards you don't want to step that uh boundaries so basically you stay put (laughs) (laughs) stay put oh yeah yeah, i think that's that's fair right like i think it's different if you're out at a bar or something right because Uh, there's no i mean i guess it's probably very similar to any other workplace really i I mean kind of like there's a lot of other workplaces if you just meet someone and a colleague you want to be really careful about the way you go about 
showing some intent. Yeah, yeah I'm trying. I'm just thinking about it. Now. I guess that's true. It is a little bit unfair for guys. Isn't it? it fucking sucks. <laughs> <just> yeah. <laughs> like, listen, it's tough but for us out here, boys. I, 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 remember I had a fling with like um somebody when I was like working back in accounting, and I was the one that like made the move, I guess. But yeah. like, he was like, "Yeah, I liked you, but I never wanted to hit on you." And, yeah, exactly. and so now I'm just thinking about. It. I guess it's kind of the same in like any industry. The guys yeah, are just like, "Oh, I don't want to be seen as like someone who's like harassing girls." Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, especially like the whole Me Too thing, especially if you have like a power imbalance, the guy's like your boss or some shit. It mm. comes like really difficult, I think. Definitely. What What, what do you think, Donnie? You got anything to say on this, mate? Nope, no comment. <laughs> 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 no, that's too funny. Um, oh, so, I, okay, I'll tell you something. Right, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll tell the story now since I don't want to know what you're barking at, Mike. Um, okay, so I actually spoke about Should this. I, get it out there? I actually spoke about this a couple of weeks ago on the show, and I was like, oh, you know, so there was this guy in Vegas that I was like, a bit keen on. Um, and, you know, I was like flirting with him, and I got the sense that he was like flirting with me. And, like, you know, he just kind of like wasn't taking the bait like I would kept floating and he just you know wasn't doing anything <laughs> and then finally I just got fed up and I just turned him and I was like so we gotta make out now <laughs> <laughs> see she just yelled, she yelled him, okay yeah, I'll go back to our previous me. conversation all right she just yelled at him she yelled at me forced it hey, Tony you okay Are you <laughs> I had a lot of sleepless nights Thinking. <laughs> it wasn't nice. from that. I can guarantee you. it wasn't because I was yelling. It was. It was from you leaving. <laughs> that's what it was. But yeah, it, it is. Um, it is, yeah, hundred percent. It is tough, but I think that's probably good advice as well for any like content creators that are guys. Is you want to do exactly what you guys are doing, which is like be very careful. Hey, be, be professional. Careful about, like, be yeah. professional. You just do your thing. Themselves at you. Yeah. Don't just be professional. Weren't throwing yourself at me. <laughs> I, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying, uh, Pop? Yeah, it's just like be professional. Make sure you don't uh, step those boundaries. No, 100%. So talking about um, being professional, <laughs> do you guys have any crazy stories for us in shooting um, content or any requests you've had for OnlyFans and stuff? I know, uh, Donna, you like even the standard stuff you're mentioning sounds pretty wild, but is there anything uh, that's happened in your journey of content creation, that's uh, been a little bit wild. Um, in mine, it's pretty standard content, so it's pretty, it's been alright. What's so the, what's the worst yeah. thing that's happened to you? Worst? What are we talking about? Worst? What's what's worst? What's considered weird? I don't know. Did you get pooped on while you were doing anal or something? Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, it can happen. <laughs> Not really. Can, can happen. Can I love it. <laughs> if you sign up to anal, like yeah, you know, like can happen. You know the risk. But what I'm picturing right now is that Povmaster has probably had a bunch of wild things happen to him. Well, we would like everyone else would consider wild, and he's like. Well, yeah, he, no, just some orgies <laughs> here and there. But, like, I don't know, got some poop in my dick once. Povmaster yeah, is Italian. They they're pretty sexually. Like liberated, yes. So I feel like what an Italian would think is wild is probably, yeah, probably very, yeah, it's very up normal. here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just fucking girls on camera, you know. I'm just, just thinking, Tuesday. like, so. not really. No, it's like it's not weird, but something that happened was um, I rent a room in Vegas to do a collab uh, last time, not last time, or maybe I don't know when. Uh, last time I was here and did a collab and. Uh, just did this kind of slash funny video of making the girl squirt off the balcony, but stuff like that. But it's not really weird. Oh, shit. I, I mean, I that's pretty wild. So you made a squirt off the balcony? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, was anyone below? I don't know. I'm probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was like 60, 60 floor up. So yeah. I'm, I'm guessing. Someone's walking down the street. Is it raining? How? It's yeah. so sunny what out. <laughs> So Are you yeah, allowed yeah. to do public content on like OnlyFans anymore? You you're not, but you can. <laughs> There's always <laughs> okay, a way. I and for me, being uh, being POV, being POV for me was easy to do a out, outdoor scene because you're focusing on something else, and you just see sometimes that you're outdoor and you're not in a bedroom, so it's pretty easy. Oh, uh, okay. So it's like not focused on it being like public. So yeah, you like, don't. Fo you can't show other people. On OnlyFans, you can obviously show there's other people around and stuff. So you need to make sure you're sneaky when you do that stuff, guys. 
If you do it. Okay. <laughs> if you so do it. T- tip from a pro here, be sneaky. Be yeah. sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> because it sells. Public stuff sells. Yeah. Okay. And how, so how do you go with um, all of the rules and everything on that? So like to everybody listening at home that doesn't really know. So all of the platforms have like lots of rules and OnlyFans every day is bringing out some new rule. Instagram and TikTok are banning some new word or something. Have you ever had any like account bans or anything? Uh, I had the... Like the only account that has been removed twice for me, and you're gonna find it super weird, has been Twitter. What my, really? My, my Not Twitter. What? My Twitter is. <laughs> been been you a on Twitter? I don't know. I have no idea. I've been deleted twice. The first time I was at eight thousand like followers. You've got to be pretty hardcore and to get deleted off Twitter. The second time is at fifteen thousand. So I still don't know why because I'm still posting the same stuff. It's uh, yeah. I can't. Twitter is like the most liberal out of all of them. Yeah, and it doesn't tell you why, right? It, it just, no, they're like, just you, like gone. Your yeah, account is be suspended. Yeah. I was like, I all right. <laughs> fuck me, dude. That's, That's crazy. Weird. What about you, Donnie? You've, uh, you your shit canceled before? Um, <clears throat> I don't think so. I don't think I've ever gotten anything, uh, delete. Like I've gotten flags and stuff. Well, oh, yeah. actually, here's the thing with butt plugs. Like, all right, like this butt plug, for instance, once, once. By the way, sorry, <laughs> this is a butt plug with a fucking basketball. <laughs> this is wild. All right, so when this is inserted, in, so you can't you can't insert random objects in you on like OnlyFans, right? So when this is inserted in somebody, it looks like a random object because people look at it and they're like, "All right, why is there you know who would have a butt plug with a basketball hoop on it?" You know what I mean? Yeah. So I have to be like very careful like in the beginning i'll promote you know where i got it from and all that because sometimes they'll pull it thinking it's not a butt plug and it, they think it's an inanimate object so i have to be like careful with the butt plug stuff if i get them pulled like and just appeal they'll give me give me my stuff back but okay so you have to be careful as long as they start you're like oh i got this off online from here and this is what it looks like and blah blah and then like continue kind of the scene and that yeah and then they'll always like go back yeah, then they'll give it back to me. I actually got my OnlyFans account frozen before. So I used to I used to have I used to pay girls just to do like kind of takeovers. So the girl a what? Like a like a takeover. So I would I would pay a girl to essentially send me content and she'd be like, Hey, I'm doing a takeover on the page. I'm gonna do a solo for you guys for content candies like, you know audience basically. Like it, it was good filler content, you know what I mean? And it it would introduce you know, the girl to my page and my followers. And I used to do that. And then OnlyFans, OnlyFans shut me down for like a month. And because they they thought I was... Show content of other people, aren't you? So long as they're tagged. Right, right. right. They thought I was stealing other people's videos and tagging them just because it was them. Like, they don't even bother watching the intro where they're like, hey, I'm doing a takeover on this page. You know what I mean? So they shut... They First, they froze my money to where I couldn't pull money, Right. And then, I mean, it takes forever to get in touch with somebody. A week goes by. I'm still not in touch with somebody. Another week goes by and they're like, oh, we sent you to this department. They'll be able to tell you what's wrong, right? Now two weeks have gone by. And then they like froze it even more. And the second step freeze means they automatically turn resubscribers off and then they don't allow anyone to join. So essentially from that point on, you have a month to like get your page back. Otherwise you lose every single one of your followers. So I went like, before I got the problem fixed, I was like a week and a half into that. So I had lost like a couple hundred people because of that. Oh my God. So I had to pull all the solos down and obviously, you know, it's whatever I wasted my money on that. You know what I mean? But also they didn't let you even like keep those even. I didn't want to at that point. This girl was paid for this and she's uh, agreed to it. Right. They would have to watch. Uh, Yeah. I took that. Yeah. They, well, they, they, Essentially, I had to get everyone to re-sign like everything. Like, oh, oh, you know, we're allowed to be here, blah blah blah, and then send them all that, which took you know days to get. I think I had to get like oh, over a hundred people, and then they're like, oh, okay, oh here's your content back. But at that point, I was terrified. You know what I mean? To go through that process again and, and essentially lose all my people, so I just pulled oh, all that stuff down. Yeah, so you, you may as well just like, yeah, not even bother. Yeah, yeah. When you went through that, Donnie, did you ever feel like, fuck, after this, I'm just gonna like create my own platform in a sense? Like, I'll just I've, have like a 
private website and like fuck using like yeah. OnlyFans or something. I've been or, wanting to do that forever. It's just I I don't have the funds to do it. It's like if I know exact, I already know exactly how I want it to look in everything, like to the T. Mm-hmm. Except it's like, you know, it's like five ten grand to start up. Yeah which I don't have uh, to, to do that. But one day I'd like to do that. I don't understand why people don't do that more often because you're, you're at the mercy of another platform. You know what I mean? If, mm, and then when they ban shit. Yeah, yeah or if it, they it just makes- decide to shut down tomorrow, you're screwed. So like the people well, that are doing... happens. I know so many people that OnlyFans just one day just took their account and that was like their livelihood. Yeah, and I don't understand people that are making like, you know, a lot of money to like, just throw some of that to the side and start your own site. You don't have to heavy promote your site, but eventually, you know, it might take a year or two, but you start moving people over there, which they will go eventually. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden you have your own site and you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. You know, the only rules you have to follow are the, you know, credit card company rules, like no blood, no pee, no poop, pretty, pretty standard stuff. But other than that, you don't have to worry about somebody pulling your content. Cause you know, you, squirt or your friend decided to do a solo you know what i mean on your page Mm -hmm. that's wild yeah well you know what there must be because i don't really know anyone that does have their own page so there's got to be something some reason why people aren't doing that because even if i'm thinking of like the big porn stars and stuff like you i don't like you know like the johnny sins and the kazumis and stuff they don't have their own page do they it's just not i mean some of them do but it's just if you don't it's just not smart it's it's I don't know. I know people and I tell them all the time, start your own page. Mm. And it's not- uh, We have a similar thing with escorting. It's like, well, it's like not your own page, but it's a newsletter. So like me and all of the other girls, like we all like really try to hassle people to like get onto our newsletter because it's the same kind of principle when, you know, I mean, yeah, a directory could get go, could go down or your Instagram could go down or I don't know, your number yeah. could get canceled. You could kind of disappear but, from social in, yeah, in a day. Like, yeah. Anything could have, like even the other day, Optus went out and oh my God, I had people like that. I had seen people on Twitter, like other escorts that were like suicidal because their work number was yeah. like with Optus oh, yeah, and true. the Optus ads yeah. went out and they're like, oh my God, like now I can't get inquiries and things. So obviously if you've got something like a newsletter or like other platforms, yeah. that you, can you need communicate to with people, back up yourself somewhere. Wow. Yeah, I try to get every, as many people as I can. I'm like, make sure you subscribe to my newsletter because if all of everything goes down, <laughs> yeah. then my newsletter will be the one way that you can like communicate with me through like anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. What about you? you? Do you have your own page? I do not. I have a couple of platforms that like everyone knows, OnlyFans, Fansly, ManyVids, uh, and that's it. And that's what I use. I use Twitter and now I just open an Instagram so I can show my face in there um, to advertise, and yeah, that's basically it. Are you? Do you do like Pornhub and stuff like that, or you? I do have some with- stuff on Pornhub, but it's from other people posting. I don't have my own uh, my own page on Pornhub. Let's say. Yeah. I eventually okay. open one, but not sure. And Pornhub, you're a trained chef, right? I am. How do you know? So that? you, you. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I tried. Smart man. Oh my god! So, I tried his cooking when I was in Vegas. I was there one night, and he. I was like, I'm so hungry, and he's like, Oh, I'll make you make? pasta. And I was like, Whatever. Like, you, you know, didn't pasta? think anything of it. I'm telling you, it was one of the nicest pastas I've ever eaten. In my what whole pasta life. It was did like they a make? Bolognese. You made it was like bolognese sauce with like just like a rigatoni or something oh, like yeah. that. It's it was so <laughs> nice. I'm still <laughs> thinking about fucking pasta. It was I made so lasagna nice. the other day. Stop. Can you so. freeze some? Put some in the freezer for when I'm there. Yeah, I'll send it over. <laughs> Did you have a vibrating butt plug in while you tasted it or no? I would make it better. <laughs> next, yeah, next, next right. time I'm going to have to get, get on the tremor. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> what I want to know is obviously you've done that scene with uh, Donnie where you were cooking. Have you ever thought about incorporating cooking more into your content? Um, you, can like do just, some you can just do so much of it for it, I guess. Like scene in the kitchen and stuff like that it's just so much that you can do and then after a bit i guess it's get repetitive and boring hmm. like yeah because i was just thinking like I, I see a lot of like instagram pages for example like there's a lot of like short form content for like cooking i'm just picturing you doing that but then adding in like some porn into it you know? yeah i should do a youtube channel with cooking first and then turn into a Sexy exactly. afterwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I should do that. Yeah, I think that'll be what. I think it'd be a good way to go down. Um, but yeah, I was just curious. It's uh, it's also next time 
we uh, catch up with you guys. Um, I'm looking forward to this pasta that uh, Kate keeps going on about. <laughs> and you might have to come with me to the trippy house. Next yeah, time yeah, Vegas. straight or or Italy maybe. That's uh, where you're off to. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll be in Vegas soon though next year. Will we? Yeah, well, I will be. You should come for ABN. You know, like, yeah. I might come for ABN. Oh, I I might be mm. going in May as well actually. Yeah. What is for what? Sorry, ABN. ABN. A- the I was. <laughs> What is it? What really? Say it again. AVN. A- what the fuck is AVN? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck AVN oh my is. God. Someone explain to me what AVN right. is. <laughs> Which one of you want to explain it? Donnie. Get it. Get it. You're American. Yeah, you're Get American. Simon. Get it. Simon. What is it? Simon. Oh, I do it. It's a it's a porn awards um, industry. Is a word industry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's basically uh, like the Australian. It's like okay. okay. It's yeah. but like it's obviously the biggest. All right. The big I, was waiting, I was waiting for something like, like oh, what do you like? Hey, yeah. I'm like, this sounds no, but I've never, What is it? No, no, I was just <laughs> I was shocked like, that you didn't know what the nah, aliens know, were when you're in the sex industry. What the fuck? No. <laughs> yeah, it's sorry, like I'm the, not American. Okay? I'm so sorry. They're probably like the main awards, like I, I guess, in the world. I heard, yeah, I think that's, I that's, that's the biggest the awards the uh, for the industry. In the world. In the world, yeah. yeah. So on that topic, how do you find the American scene, let's say, of content creation compared to um the australian one and uh, have you have you shot in europe yet or no you're just heading there sorry what do you say the last um, part? how do you find the american scene when it comes yeah. to, like content creation versus australian or have, have you shot in europe yet or you i haven't shot in europe but i'm going to soon yeah. so yeah. what i can say is that american uh, industry compared to australian is so much more safe advanced and um, it's really on point on the industry standard of the testing Example, when um, mycoplasma genitalium came out, there's an STD that came out in, a, in America. They had um, exposure, I think last, last year, was it? Yeah, I think it started last year is when I started seeing it on Twitter. It, it started last year in America and uh, they got straight on to the, put it on the full panel and the talent testing and whoever is doing the testing here. And in Australia, it just started to be in process to be well, we're still struggling with yeah like <laughs> it's, and people don't consider it as a scary std so don't even get tested for it because they haven't heard it before they don't know what it was like when i was in australia and i was asking my doctor to get tested for it his question was like why so i had to explain you don't need to know why i want to get tested for it it doesn't matter it doesn't matter why i get tested I Sassy. need to be tested for it. <laughs> yeah, it sounds I mean, it's, like that. It's fair. I guess it's fair, <laughs> right? You want to be safe in the industry, so you need to make sure yeah. everyone else is safe in the industry. And Australia is really behind compared to America. Mm. And obviously, there's always the industry person that doesn't follow the rules and trying to sneak in without not doing the testing. And it could be in America, it could be in Europe and in Australia. But... If you follow the rules, the industry standard, you'll yeah, be good. You just find it a little bit more professional over there in terms yeah, of Yeah, a lot more. Yeah. yeah, because I guess in a, so in America, America, the American sex industry, I guess, um, is basically kind of uh, uh, run by, I guess, the porn companies. Like the porn companies, you know, set, I guess, the, what the rules and the example. Um, and they, you know, have like all of these strict measures and things that it then, I guess, trickles down. Uh, to the creators and whatnot. But I guess in Australia, we don't have these big porn companies that are kind of like mandating things. We mostly look to what the American people are doing. But yeah, obviously, as what Bob Master saying, there's a bit of a lag with when, you know, they're doing it in America. And then most of the time, it'll be people will go to America or we might see something on Twitter. Like the first time I ever heard of Mycoplasma was I saw a, I think it was I saw Kazumi or somebody posting about it on Twitter, like when it started coming out. This was, yeah, like a while ago, like last year. Um, so that was the first time I'd ever heard of it was when she started posting it on Twitter. Um, yeah, and then so that's basically like how we find out about things here. <laughs> Get but, away for Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but like in but in America, the porn companies, I guess, <laughs> kind of set all the rules and stuff, but we don't have that luxury here, which I guess is why it's a bit of a but shit But then show. at the same time, <laughs> yeah. like a porn industry or agency that here in America, Don, um, some of them, they're not following the industry standard. Example. If you're um, uh, a porn star and you're from this particular agency or that one, blah, 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 and uh, you get tested for mycoplasma and you find out that you're positive, that means that you'll be out of work for that agency 
for at least a month. So the agency sometimes avoid to get tested for mycoplasma because they don't want their talent to lose a month and they're gonna the agency is gonna lose money on the talent that is not working for a month. So there's yeah. always someone that doesn't respect the industry standard. So it yeah. comes down to the person and the genuine person that is be like, no, I won't be safe for myself and for the other people in the industry. Yeah, and and yeah, it's a fucked up thing. I think, sorry for all boring you. I, <laughs> just beat the fuck yeah, out. exactly. I got some support here, so it's time to <laughs> beat you up. Um, I know, fuck you guys. And I think it's a good thing about like independent content creation. It's good and bad. Like you may lack some standards that are getting set like above you in a sense, but also you're allowed to set your own standards, right? So you can say like, look, this is what I require for a collaboration. This is like the level I need to meet. And you can set those for yourself, which I guess is kind of the nice thing. Um, Donnie, have you been to Australia? Have you any, shot any content over here before? No, I'd love to go though. Oh, you should. You should. Get over here. Donnie would I think explode in Australia. <laughs> The Australian <laughs> audience would love these games. I'm telling you, Mark. Oh, yes. If I go there, Mark, will you be will you be my one of my judges, mate? I'm I'm there. <laughs> I think we, we, should we should do it on the show. We should do it on the show. Yeah, dude, done. hundred <laughs> percent. We, we do need the I think. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I'm already looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I told I told Donny. I was like, yeah, you definitely need to come to Australia. But yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. Ne- next year. Next yeah, year. Donny be- would explode in Australia. Yeah, no, dude, they sure. they would love it. Yeah, Simon said nobody. It's so, he no told one me does no one's, it. Yeah, no one does anything something fun like that or anything like that. It's yeah. it's more serious stuff there. It's a, a classic bedroom situation. Yeah, like, I yeah. haven't seen. Tripod. <laughs> I haven't seen anything too kind of niched out. I mean, uh, again, I you probably know more about this than I do, but like just from the content I've seen, it's typically not that like niched out. And I think like the games thing, it's new to me. I don't know if anyone's doing it here, to be honest. No, but no I one's think, doing it here. And I think like the audience would love it. Like watch yeah, after this know, podcast, Australia being wide. <laughs> <on games. laughs> Come up with kangaroo pouches and doing game kangaroos onesies and stuff like that. Oh, I've come up with some messed up games before. <laughs> well, actually, speaking of games and things, I want to talk about you two doing what? What are you two doing with Pokemon right now? These two. <laughs> oh <laughs> oh man, right, we're gonna put our other business in life. Yeah, that's our other business. We do porn. And what are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> Donnie. They're poking on my All right, so we yeah, we have a we have a TikTok live shop where we, you know, we'll open packs and sell like bags of cards and slabs and we do very what well is a slab? on there. It's a, it's a what graded a card. Yeah, so people like pay you to open the cards essentially, is that the Yeah, that so? yeah, we, that and you know, we'll have like slab prizes and stuff. So a slab is a graded card. So say a card, say a card's worth 30 bucks, okay? If you look at if you look up the price of the card's worth 30 bucks raw, just as is. Mm. If you get it oh. raw, <laughs> raw, raw, I had to make the, you know, the connection there between the two, <laughs> between the two businesses. But if you grade it, uh, getting a grade 10 would be, it's mint condition, right? Perfect condition. And then it goes, you, you can get it graded one through 10, depending on how good condition the card is. And if it's a 10, it, depending on what the card is, it increases the value. Like, I mean, it, Depending on what the card is, could some cards could thousands. go up to thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've seen on Twitch um, the, there was a huge phase of this where people would yeah have streams where they're just like opening cards like nonstop and it's, yeah, it's the, ridiculous. Is it like, like yeah, graded. I forget the name of it. But yeah, it's ridiculous. I start when I as a kind of uh, curiosity when I was uh, in Australia, and then I come up here and I was like, "Yeah, Donnie, there's some money to make. Are you ready?" And we just started. I saw it on your Instagram story and it looked like a full production. There was like a table and lights and everything. It looked like a game show. It was. It was so serious. (laughs) So how was that going? So you just – and then I didn't even realize you could buy things on TikTok. How does that even work? Yeah, you just open a TikTok shop and uh, basically TikTok – TikTok shop. Yeah, TikTok take it. pay you money onto TikTok. Yes, 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 yes. You can put your credit card And then does it give you like their address and shit and then you just – So basically what what happened is – we receive our order from that person and TikTok gave us, the person's got his own address and phone number and real name and blah, blah. And TikTok gave us the option to print the label and just ship it out. And that's what we do. Oh, wow. Happy and days. they take the, TikTok take 
take commission that is pretty low and we take the rest. Perfect. And, yeah. and how's it going? Is it like, is it, it looks like it's doing all right for you too. It's doing all right. We're not talking about numbers, but <laughs> I'm so we, we that might stop. Por- we yeah. might stop. In, yeah. We might stop in porn and do this full time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Even, he, yeah, he's not joking. He's I'm not joking. Even joking, right joking. Now. Like, it, it's it's it, it's doing well. It's great. Yeah. It's, and, uh, congrats, boys. Well done. Right now, he's equal to my. Like we blow through our inventory in one live. Shit. Yeah. All right. Like, yeah, we, like we need more inventory. Like one live could cool, be bro. two hours, and uh, let's say it could be roughly between fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred in two hours. Damn boys! So right, keep that. We keep that to yourself. In Everyone's going to be. Yeah, yeah, cool, this is going to be cut. Let's cut yeah, this. Yeah, this, this, this <laughs> is a secret. <laughs> to yeah, this is a secret. All right, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a group of porn stars <laughs> just open just start porn opening porn stars. Pocket <laughs> cut, and they're gonna be like <laughs> naked. I'm, I'm, I'm so shitty that. That user weren't doing that when I was there. The cat just loves scared. Pokemon. I that's do. why. Well, <laughs> it's, she just it's, loves it's just because you were stuck in a room for three days. That's wow. All. <laughs> she wasn't able to. <laughs> like, the, who's, was, who's the room? I was worried. <laughs> I thought, I was like, what happened to cat? She's disappeared for three days. <laughs> yeah. That's what you happened. You guys just putting, putting it on. Oh, all right, I'll put it on YouTube now. I asked you to. <laughs> I was like, let's have an MMF. And you were like, oh, no. Nah. Nobody what? said no. that. No. Nobody <laughs> said that. Oh, and no, I feel I'm like easy. I feel I'm like easy. if we say no, there's only one reason is because one of us is being uh, drained, so I couldn't have not been work. Oh, <laughs> he came out of the room. <laughs> Just <laughs> saying. Nothing <laughs> 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 yeah, right, I remember. Uh, I remember my you? man Donnie was. Uh, I think. I think the day that you left, we had to pick up someone from the airport, and he was completely pussy drunk. It was. That's what you said. He oh my god! <laughs> like <laughs> was. It was I like, almost crashed my car it three cr- times. I was missing turns and shit. <laughs> I almost crashed, missing turns. I was like, Donnie, do you want me to take over here? And he turns around and like, I'm pussy drunk. Sorry. I was like, great. I love that term. Great. Uh, we've all been there. We'll oh, man. Oh, so, all yeah, right, boys. Thanks, Scott. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> um, boys, what are, you, what are your plans for the future? What's coming up? So we've got the Pokemon cards. Um, Donnie's going to come join us in Australia. If you got a, what, what else is happening? We'll start with you, Pop Master. Uh, yeah, I'm on? going. Um, I, gotta, I got a couple of more collabs here in Vegas before I leave. And then um, I'm going to try to go to London for a bit and um, work there. Spread the voice over there and um, just <laughs> Europe. And Are you uh, come back? Probably. I was talking with my best friend, Coco. And, well, I was uh, just with Coco the other day. Yeah, she told me, don't come back in Australia. We'll meet somewhere else in America. So I'll probably be back in America after Europe uh, because she can come here and we're just going to meet here. And uh, yeah, that's the plan. Uh-huh, fuck yeah. Pretty easy. Sounds good. Just going with the flow, I guess. Johnny, bro. Johnny, what about you? What's your upcoming plans other than uh, slinging Pokemon cards around? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have nothing big planned. Um, maybe like, you know, a fun little Christmas thing for, for OnlyFans. Yeah, I, I'd love to come to Australia sometime next year, hopefully earlier earlier on in the year because it's, it's quite your summer now, right? Yeah, we're heading into yeah, it. Yeah, so. so December, January... F- Feb, yeah. Feb would, is the ideal time. Yeah, you definitely want to skip Sydney, Melbourne, and you want to go to the Gold Coast. Ah, straight to the Gold Coast. Huh? Straight right. to the Gold Coast. Sydney's where no, it's Sydney's, up, yeah. Sydney's oh, are you serious? Sydney's where... Yeah. Please. Don't listen <laughs> How... Are there a lot of uh, sex workers in Sydney? Or in our... Or Only escorts. Yeah. Only escorts. Well, yeah. Most of the content Wait. creators are going to be like... Yeah, the like, content gotcha. creators don't Gold live Coast. in Sydney. It's, it's basically just escorts here. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So you want to be in the Gold Coast. The Gold Coast? Yeah. Uh, you want to yeah, come, come visit Sydney. Yeah. It's, it's better. I mean, it just do, do the layover in Sydney for like two hours and then catch the ah, <laughs> You'll need three days. Um. <laughs> 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 All right, and boys, where can uh, where can everyone find you listening? What where, where, where should they look up? POV Master zero one, I believe, on Instagram. POV Master one on Twitter. POV Master on OnlyFans. That's uh, my handles, I believe. Not even sure. So we'll but pop yeah. them down. Yeah, we'll put all your links in the yeah. thing. And uh, Donny, where can 
Where can people find you at? Uh, all my links are at www.contentcandy.tv. So much professional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah can I set that up for you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta do that. It costs like yeah. ten bucks it, a year. It costs uh, like a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> um, and to everyone listening, you can see my videos with uh, both of these boys <laughs> on um, all of our pages. Um, Unfortunately, not an MMF. Maybe one day. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dream of every girl, me and Donnie together. Yeah, if you start backing out, we will. For sure. Yeah, I, I was it. not the one that I, No, down. I heard you were pussing out, okay? Me? That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what idea. these boys told me. They were like, you were just too soft. You couldn't take it. It was my idea. <laughs> All right, boys. Thank you so much for coming on. It's nice having some backup over here. I appreciate it. Donnie, if you're in uh, Sydney, come say hi. And... Well, well master, maybe I'll see you overseas. So, uh, yeah, thanks for well, well, on, boys. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks thanks for having us on. It.